that the Russian President Vladimir Putin is demanding that foreign buyers, European buyers, pay for Russian gas in rubles or he turns off the taps tomorrow. That was the threat. So is it a bit of a standoff at this point? Kira, this is certainly what's seen as a kind of dramatic escalation in this economic standoff between Russia and Western powers. Now, this demand from Russia is widely seen as a bid to boost the ruble, that currency, that Russian currency really ailing under the impact of Western sanctions. But it is something that G7 countries have rejected. Germany said earlier this week that there's something they said that it would be a breach of contracts and that they insist that contracts would be respected. Those contracts say that they, those bills should either be paid in euros or dollars and not in rubles. Now, as you mentioned, in response to this latest move, we're hearing Germany even calling this out as blackmail. Now, we do understand that some of those bills are not to be paid tomorrow. The April bills might be paid in a few weeks' time. So there might be some uh, movement here from European countries as they try to uh, you know, calculate their next move really here. But of course, with that rejection that we've heard from Germany, from other countries rejecting this demand from Russia, they, we really have the, the risk rising there that Russia could simply turn off the gas taps. That's why Germany yesterday activated the first level of its gas emergency plan. At that stage, it does not foresee kind of limits to supplies, but it could in the future, if escalated, look at rationing so that uh, gas supplies can be channeled to those where it's needed most, those locations, for example, hospitals. So we are seeing quite dramatic political scenes playing out here. As I said, this economic standoff intensifies.